So on this day, let the world remember the brave Vietnamese people who died fighting against colonialism and capitalism. Yes. Not only is this an opportunity to remember the struggles of the past, but it's also an opportunity to assert ourselves for the struggles of today and tomorrow. I want to thank Luna for joining me on a day of such importance to the Vietnamese people. Solidarity. Solidarity. Um, thank you so much. This is a big sure. day in Vietnam too. Yes, the August Revolution. Yeah, absolutely. So if you want to talk a little bit about the August Revolution, feel free. What is it? Uh, how did it start? What, what, what? Yeah, just feel free to talk loosely yeah. about it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I talk. Okay, I can talk about this because this is a very important part of history of Vietnam. So the August uh, Revolution um, happened in 1945. Uh, we it, it was led by Ho Chi Minh and a team of communists. And literally at that time, we kicked out the fascists, the fascist Japanese, and also um, uh, uh, you know the uh, col the colonialist friends. Something like that, and then also we ended the existence of the royal family in Vietnam. We ended the king. Nice. So yeah, in the in it just like a matter of few days. Uh, on August, we had a successful revolution, and Vietnam since then became an independent country that exists in the map of the world. Mm -hmm. Very, very proud day, proud nice. months for Vietnamese people. For sure. Are there any celebrations going on, or well, I mean, we now, do. now, yes. now, now it's in lockdown, I guess. But usually, yes. there's a bunch of celebrations and stuff. Yeah. Yes. Usually, like everybody talks about it, like like TV channels, and then there's like a uh, parade on the streets. You know, the marching on the street, and we also like uh, show like movies about the August Revolution on television. And I did translate that movie in my channel. Oh, oh, yeah, wow, you can check it out. It. The oh, August yeah. Star. Yes, definitely. It's a definitely. movie's name is The August Star. Go check it out. It's a very, very famous movie that uh, like tell you the story about that August Revolution. And you understand the real like, situation, how how hard it was for Vietnamese people to 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 have a successful revolution, like millions of Vietnamese people joined together to fight against all kinds of enemies and form an independent country of Vietnam. A little bit back about the history of Ho Chi Minh because he's the communist leader of Vietnam. Ho Chi Minh, he came back, he, he, he went out of Vietnam to go to the West in like, uh, uh, in 1911 and he stayed outside of Vietnam for 30 years. Wow. And he only came back to Vietnam in like 1941 and he had to walk from China all the way to all the jungles to Vietnam and he had to hide in the jungle for years to prepare for this revolution and at that time like the situation in Vietnam was very horrible because uh, because of the World War II you know so the French they were already here and then they lost the World War II and then the fascist Japan came and like theoretically they took the they took the power over French and they took the control over Vietnam too. But actually, they two worked together. The colonialist French and the fascist Japan, they, they worked together and they exploited us even more. So it was like the French uh, persuaded the, the uh, Japanese like, well, uh, uh, you don't need to kick us out. We, we will help you to like, you know, like control this and then to ha help you like with everything. So like, from 1940 to 1945, before the August Revolution, two millions of Vietnamese people died of starvation Fuck. because both Japan and both uh, and, and French, like they took everything they could from us, all the rice, all the food, whatever, to make up for their loss mm -hmm. in the war in their home country, and it was so horrible. And both of my grandparents lived through this town. Wow. And it was horrible, like they barely survived and both of my grandparents, they have like the bones and nutrition problems severely because of that time. It, it, it was very, very bad. So like, it, yeah, if you watch the movie The August Star, you would, like, we, you would know like how many of our people starved to death and the situation that was like, it's no, no words can describe that. 
And in the 1990s, actually, the prime minister of the Pan officially said sorry for Vietnam for what they did for us in the 40s. They acknowledged it and they said that it was wrong, something like that. So, uh, uh, at least they admitted that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And uh, how did the people of Vietnam react to that apology? Did they accept it as an apology or? Yeah, we accepted yeah. it. Uh, have, yes, was, was there any kind of like reparations given by the Japanese state? Well, since then, like Vietnam and Japan, we had a lot of like they gave us the ODA, you know, the ODA uh, uh, fund for 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 okay. Vietnam, something like that. So like some kind of reparation, something like that. Yep. Uh -huh. So we don't really keep the hatred that much towards Japanese people, so we try to get over it, you know. Yeah. For um. Sure. Again, like. And the, the 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 one important point that you need to know about that August uh, that that August Revolution is that like at that time in 1945, you know the World War Two ended and the fascists lost, and in, at that time like the USA they were coming and trying to like de-weaponize Japan and at that time the situation in Vietnam is like this. The Japanese already very powerful in Vietnam, but they lost the war and they are about to leave. The French they were about to send more uh, to send more soldiers to Vietnam, along with the USA too. So like in the in the period of just a few days, we had like the the in Vietnam is like nearly like an empty period of time where there's no powerful enemy yet. Mm -hmm. So Ho Chi Minh and our communists like. Um, uh, party, we took that chance. We said, "Like this is it. This is a chance, and we have to take it. And if we don't take it, we can't take it. We don't know how long we have to wait mm -hmm. to have the second chance like this." So, so we literally the August Revolution happened and succeeded in like four days. If mm -hmm. you think about it, like in the big fight happened in four days. So, and the wow. funny thing is, uh, the very important thing is, at first there were just like a small group of communists in Vietnam because most of Vietnamese were at that time we starved to death and we mm -hmm. didn't even know how to read and write we didn't even know what was communism at that time we don't understand nothing and those communists in order to gain the support from the people they um with the, we with the the, the common the communist soldiers we broke into the rice storage of Japan and we stole the rice and we distributed it nice. to people to hungry people. And that was how we gained the support from millions of starving Vietnamese people. That was why it succeeded. It just started from a small group of communists. And that is why like related to compared to the citizen in the US right now, when like millions of you facing eviction and being homeless, also like lack of food and and like the thing that you need to do if you're leftist is like to do mutual aid to have people who are in need. They don't need to understand what is socialism, what is anarchism, what is communism, because they don't have the privilege of reading any books right now because they're dealing with their daily life struggles and how to gain them into outside is to help them, to give them food and roof and all kinds of help right now. And yes, that was the big big lesson that I hope that you all can learn from Vietnam in 1945 when we actually had a successful revolution because we distributed food for people who were starving. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And uh, I, I for sure believe that there's many, many lessons that we could learn here in the West from revolutions in Vietnam, even the Chinese context and many other uh, uh, communist context all over the world. These are things that we need to learn from, draw from, uh, so that maybe we can have a, a successful re uh, revolution here. Uh, what you said about uh, mutual aid is very, very important. And there's a lot of mutual aid things going on in the United States and Canada as well. But uh, I think really what we need to do is while we're taking these uh, mutual aid initiatives uh, very seriously, we also need to look at like how can we get power because power is also uh, you know very very important. If you want to feed the people, you also need power.